Guys, I really review a powder for you because for the most part, they all seem to act the same, but this one... Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I desperately need powder on my face. I am looking so oily. This is very rare where I don't put powder before I start to film. We're gonna be talking about the Refi Skin Finish Water-Based Loose Setting Powder. When this came in the mail, I bought it myself because I was really intrigued. I saw it on social media and I was like, yes. That's it. Because I'm someone that wears powder almost every single day. I'm an oily kind of girl, and if I'm wearing any kind of makeup, I'm automatically wearing powder. That's just how it works with me, you know? Or I'm just not wearing any makeup at all, and it's just skincare. It's like either or, you can't get something in between. This costs $32. There are two shades, 01 Light Medium and 02 Medium Dark. It's a water-based loose setting powder that leaves your skin looking like skin. It helps to reduce the look of pores, fix makeup, and remove unwanted shine. That's me. I'm really surprised that there are only four stars on Sephora and there are only 11 reviews. Why are people not giving it five stars? Okay, some people are saying patchy, upset, didn't work out for me. People are saying looks cakey. That is very, very interesting. Okay, so let's just go into the application and let me show you guys how this looks. And also let me bring you guys in closer. Come on. Quickly before we get into the application packaging very rectangular in their infamous color. What I like about this, because this is my thing with loose setting powders, I love them, but I also hate them because they are so incredibly messy. And if you're not being mindful of one, where are you applying it? Two, what are you wearing when you're applying it? So usually I find it to be best if you're wearing a towel, a robe, honestly, you could be naked for all I care. It's just because Loose powder just gets everywhere, even if like you're super neat, but this packaging makes it more ideal. So you take the top off, there's a little seal right here, and then there is a mesh. Don't know if you can see that. To me, the mesh helps so you don't get too much product on whatever applicator you're using. So that's really great, but this, this is the thing that's so helpful because it just keeps everything nice. But there's still something else to like lock it all in. Because a lot of the times, you know, you put the top on, but then it's still coming out. Not this one. So I do like that packaging. I can see people losing this part. So I do wish it was more like, you know, attached or something. So I keep the little sticker on it to remind myself not to lose it because then I don't know if this would be as good. There's that. Now let's get to the really exciting part. I put my makeup on over an hour ago and now I need to kind of freshen it up. I don't want these under eye creases to seal in. I like using a poof because you can really get into the inner and outer corners, around the nose, around the mouth. It just makes it easier. And then of course around the brows if you like to do your brows after. See, not that much product. Before I would apply so much powder, which probably was unnecessary, but that's it. It's like so little. So this should technically last me quite a while. How many ounces are in here? There is 0.92 ounces. Doing one side of the face to compare. We're gonna go in with the right side. Now this feeling this water-based feeling, it does feel like I'm applying like a mist to the face. It's so interesting. And this is incredibly lightweight. It feels like nothing. It feels like kind of like a damp sponge, but very subtle. Wow, every single time I apply this, I'm always amazed. Mainly because of how it feels, but then at the same time, I'm like, I really didn't apply that much powder but look at my skin. Now let's go into the shiny forehead. Wow, what a difference. This is amazing and it doesn't feel like powder. It feels so lightweight. It doesn't feel like I added another product to my skin. It was just my cream products and that's it. A lot of the times when I apply loose powder, it feels heavier, like I can feel it. For example, Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder, very well known. A lot of us use it, a lot of professionals use it. That one is a really nice loose setting powder. I feel like it's top tier, everyone knows it's good. But it is one that I could feel on my skin. Like I know I have powder on my skin. The Refi one feels so lovely. I can't 
I don't know how else to explain it because I've never tried a water-based setting powder before. If you guys have tried other brands that have something like this, let me know down below because I would be curious to see if it feels similar. But this is amazing. This is going to be my go-to loose setting powder. While I powder the other side, let's have some fun music so we can just be amazed. I have no words. This is absolutely beautiful. So let's just admire the beauty of it not looking powdery, not looking cakey. Not really sure why those people are having those kinds of experiences. The only thing I can think of is maybe if they're using a sponge that's damp. So you're supposed to use something that's dry, whether it's something like this or a sponge or a brush. I don't really like using brushes with loose setting powder. It kind of just gets everywhere. You can't be very like specific in the areas that you want to target and set. So don't really care for a brush. But this wowed me. There aren't too many products on my channel that I reviewed that wowed me. I only can think of on the top of my head, maybe a few. I think for the most part, products are kind of like, you know, just this. They're floating, they're average. They're like, oh, that's pretty or... Oh, you know, maybe I have something like that already in my collection. But this stuff, guys, wow. Even though I feel really good about my skin, I do want to show you guys what this looks like eight to nine hours later. Now, today, I've started my day quite late. It's around lunchtime. When you guys watch my videos, are you a morning type of person before work, lunchtime on your break, or in the evening when everyone's like asleep and you're doing your own thing? Because that's when I watch YouTube videos. When I'm doing my own thing, it tends to be in the evening when my puppies are like super tired from daycare and no one's bothering me. Every now and then, maybe on a lunch break, when I used to live in the city, not as realistic because if you are hustling to get to wherever you're trying to eat, you're using all of your time to wait in line, get your food, you have 30 minutes, you gotta eat all the food, put it all away, get back. That was never really realistic when I lived in the city. But now that a lot of us work at home, it makes it easier to watch videos. But anywho, I will see you guys later today. I'm looking oilier than I would like to look. That's really the main negative that I see. But as you guys come closer, the only thing that I really notice is a bit of creasing under the eyes, but honestly, not that bad. I could just easily just use my fingers to make it look better. But just my T-zone, it's a little more oily than I would like it to be. I'm wondering if this would layer nicely if I were to go over it again. So I'm going to try that since I'm going to take a shower right after this. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more because I really do like this product and how it feels. I'm just a little too oily for my liking. I feel like ever since Dewey has been the go-to look, people are trying to achieve this look when I'm like, No, stay away. That's not the look I want. I don't want to look like that. Okay, that looks good. Let's do the forehead. Well, instantly. But how does it look up close? Let's see. Wow. This looks pretty good. Now I'm going to do a little bit under the eyes. That was super simple. That was a little too easy. Guys, look at that difference. This layers beautifully. So if this is something that you want to bring with you, although it's kind of bulky, you at least know it's not going to cake up and get all bunchy and weird. And just like that, did nine hours even pass by? I don't think so. It still looks amazing. All I have to say is try this out ASAP. I am going to try this with a setting spray, something that will just help with the oiliness and maybe pair it with a primer that's going to help that and see if that helps. But overall, I really like this product, guys. 
This one's a keeper and this is most likely going to be my go-to loose setting powder. I've had the e.l.f. one for a while that I really like but it's so messy. But it is like nice and finely milled like this. But a totally different experience. This one feels water-like and cool to the touch. But the e.l.f. one is just a nice inexpensive one where you could just kind of like grab it at Target very easily if you forget it when you're on a trip. This might be my new go-to. Besides that, I don't really have any other go-to loose setting powders. Lately, they've been just feeling quite heavy and I haven't been really exploring other loose setting powders. I did one time try a CoverGirl one on a whim because I just needed a loose setting powder. But here's the thing that went wrong. I didn't watch any YouTube videos, I didn't read any reviews, I just picked it up and I was like, yeah. And guess what? It ended up being so cakey, so heavy, and it made my skin look so bad. So this is a friendly reminder to read the reviews, watch the videos. They are so helpful, so I'm hoping that this video is helpful for you guys. And if it was, like this video, subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!